Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. It's so sandy here. Welcome back to Southwestern Oregon. We are in the dunes area here. You can probably hear some of the vehicles ripping up and down the dunes around us. And we are tasting a sample from our friend, Marty from Whiskey Nose. Hey, Marty. If it's your first time joining us for Five Sip Friday, we nose the glass, take five sips, try to figure out what the heck we're drinking, say whether or not we like it, and ultimately it will be revealed. I want to get out of the nose. Yeah, let's get to it. Ooh, it's apple cidery. It's leathery. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It is really light. It's windy out here again. It is windy. Uh, it's really light. It smells like apples. It smells like an apple grove to me. There's a little bit of something medicinal happening here. A little, a little sugary. Sip right. one? Yeah, let's sip it. Let's start the weekend. Hmm. Well, this, this is, is interesting. A, it's a confusing sip. I almost got a little like single malt on this one. Uh, a little smokiness on the finish, but there's a, a, a nice fruit presence at the beginning. It is interesting because there's a bitterness here. Yep. I don't know. It's not overly sweet. That's for sure. It, there's a there's a fruit sweetness that goes into a little bit of leather and a little bit of oak, but then I got a little smoke at the end. There's some vanilla. Wow, this is weird. Number two. <laughs> Sip two. The nose is so light and airy. This is a little almost skunky. Like there's some funkiness to it. Like yeah. something that's been like, or something that vegetal that's kind of, I don't want to say decomposing because that sounds gross, but like it tastes good, but there's a, it's a we little funky. Earthy. earthy. <laughs> that's probably better. Earthy. I think that there's some antiseptic sort of note here. Mm. It's, man, whatever it is, they're really leaning into whatever it is because it seems so unique and specific. But I've never, I don't know that I've ever had anything quite like this. No, and I'm thinking about proof right now because I got fooled pretty heavily last last week. <laughs> this also feels really warm, but I don't know if it's just because the breeze is cool or if it's like pretty warm. This is building on my, yeah. on the back of my neck, I feel like. I don't know, just this like one's, the sun. this sun is doing the same <laughs> thing. Sip number three? Yeah, sip number three. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna get this one right. No. It's a little sticky, a little honey. There's some honey there. There's yeah. some funkiness. Yeah, there's a medicinal vegetal mm -hmm. thing here. I don't not like it. I just, I find this one very interesting. It's yeah. it's just, there's a lot going on. Yeah. I am getting like a little, I don't. The spice is lingering. That's the prevailing thing is a, is a sort of a nondescript spice at the end. I wouldn't call it cinnamon or anything like that. Yeah. And then the oak itself, there's something interesting about that oak. Mm -hmm. I think that's where maybe the bitterness is coming from. It makes me think maybe this is really well aged. Oh, that I don't be, hate that. That could be creating that weirdness that we're getting on the on the bitterness, especially on the tail end. Yeah, let's go to sip four. Here we go. There's something like white sugary about this too. That like comes that, and goes so quickly. It comes and goes and it's immediate. There's a fruitiness here, maybe like a peach or something, like an o way overripe peach. Mm -hmm. And that dissipates, dissipates really quickly again too. Wow. I'm, I'm like looking around because I keep thinking, maybe I can figure out what this is. I, I actually I, don't even know what the what type this is. I am not holding out any hope whatsoever oh, because I don't hope. think I've ever tasted anything quite like this. Yeah, we have friends uh, tasting off uh, off camera. off camera on the side. So I've been watching their reactions as well. I haven't been paying much attention. <laughs> mm. There's just like a hint of like, it's not smoke, but there's something a little funky there on the finish. There's a burnt barrel, overcharred. Wow. I don't know. I don't know about this one. I, um, Do you like it? No. Oh, no, you don't. No, this doesn't hit my palate at mm. all. This is a very strange sample. And I wonder, because Marty really knows his stuff and actually has a great palate, of course, I think he's sending us something here that he's not sure about and he wants to know. Oh, what I we like think that. About I it. like that. I think that's the case. Um, I think. I find this. Well, what do you think of it? Well, I find this. I find this intriguing and interesting to try to figure out what these flavors are. This one is really a conundrum because I I literally don't know if this is a bourbon, if this is a American single malt. I don't think it's a rye, so it probably is. Um, <laughs> I, I like really don't know. Um, and there's a lot going on that I'm not sure if it all works together. Yeah. So would you buy this? 
I probably wouldn't. This yeah. is definitely not something that hits my palate uh, per se, but it is interesting. I like sampling it for sure, which is why yeah. I love Five Sleep Friday so much. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to find out this is something that we're in love with and that we've been enjoying forever. But um, OK, so thank you, Marty, for Whiskey Nose, because obviously you've got a stumped here. Yeah. Do you have a guess as to what this thing might be? No, I have zero guess, but I'm going to go uh, one. I'm gonna go 112. I okay. feel like I've been way over lately on proof, so I'm going down and saying 112. Gosh, my first initial sip made me think it was like an American single malt. I don't get a bunch of smokiness here, but I'm sure it's bourbon. But I'm just gonna go Amer American single malt yeah. and 112, and I literally have zero idea. That's fair. I, I feel I feel a little defeated on this one. I feel the same <laughs> way. I think. The antiseptic nose and the sort of lingering spice on the finish. I am going to go rye on this one. I think you're probably right with that 112 proof because it drinks a little warm. I'm going to say, just to hedge our bets, I'm going to go 108 proof. Okay, I like 107. it. 107. I want 107. More yeah, specific. Yeah, I like 107. Yeah. And uh, man, brand wise, I wouldn't even wager a guess on this one. I think that's probably something either toasted. I don't think it's blended, although it does seem like there's some flavors coming out of left field. I feel like it could be craft. It, it, I don't know. I don't really get a crafty presence, but you're, you're, yeah, you could I don't know. be. I don't I'm know. Telling I'm telling you, this one is out of, like, out of control. It, I don't know. It really feels like it could be anything. So I'm going to say rye, 107 proof. And um, I didn't I say, let's I didn't, say, let's say it's a blend or something. I, I don't know. This was so, so tricky. Oh. Yeah. And there's a little nuttiness on the finish that I just got right now. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I really, man, I've, I don't think this is the most stumped I've ever been yeah. on a Five Sip Friday. Good job. Good job, Marty. Great job, Marty. <laughs> all right, let's figure this out. I don't want to be so wrong. I've been so wrong all season. Thank you for the envelope, Marty, and for the sample, of course. Oh, yeah. All right. OK, so we weren't totally crazy. OK, uh, broken barrel hearsay. Heresy. OK, let me do that again. <laughs> I don't want to be, I don't want to say that we're totally wrong. Oh, okay. my God. Broken Barrel, Heresy, Kentucky Street, Rye Whiskey, 105 proof. So Phil, two weeks in a row, you got you know, like nailing that. rye and 105 proof. You were close. What'd you say, 107? I said 107. Yeah, great. Uh, this is a 95% rye. I said for sure it wasn't a rye. Okay, so we've got the M MGP rye 95.5 mash bill here. I'm guessing that's where it's sourced from in Indiana. The oak bill, 40%, this is because Broken Barrel, they actually take barrels from different places and put them together as a ah. single barrel, I believe. Yeah. That might explain why we thought that this was flavors coming out of left field. Yeah. 40% ex bourbon barrels, 40% new French oak barrels, 20% sherry cask oak. Mm. What a weird. It was so strange. Wild sample. I knew I was going to be wrong, but like, wow. But you were right. I mean, not right, but you were like. I exist. Two out of <laughs> you exist, exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Marty, for this sample. Uh, this is actually the very first product I've tried from Broken Barrel. I've mm -hmm. seen it on the shelf a few times, never pulled the trigger on it. Um, interesting. I don't know where to go from here with that brand. I think maybe if I see it at a bar, I'll try the bourbons or something like that. But I got to say, this definitely was not my favorite. It didn't hit my palate at all, but that's why we play the game. Yeah, and that's why Five Sip Fries are so fun. And from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. The camera just keeps on rotating. Yeah, no, I'm almost notice? off screen now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>